I want to give you a warning. I sound like a teacher, don't I? I want, I want to give you a warning. No, my warning is about communication. Um, I recently, I take Pilates a couple times a week to, uh, to keep my 49-year-old body as limber as possible. And the Pilates instructor, who is a lovely girl, is a talker. And she talks about herself, and she talks about her kids, and she talks and talks and talks and talks. Well, the owner of the uh, Pilates studio is a friend of mine. And I sent her an email, and I said, what's it going to take to get Kim to shut up and teach? Email. The owner forwarded the email to Kim and said, Kim, I think you're strong enough to hear this direct feedback. Well, she did that without telling me, though she did CC me. I was mortified. My warning is this. Never put anything in writing or in an email that you wouldn't want someone to see. And it's something that I learned years ago, and it was a rookie mistake. I, I can't believe she did it. She since apologized. In fact, the, the, the Pilates instructor called me up and said, you know what, you're right. You're right. And we, we worked it out, and she and I are, <laughs> she and I are friends again. <laughs> Never piss off people who cut your hair or tell you what to do physically because they can hurt you <laughs> and make you look ugly. Um, but it ended up well. Anyway, it's a warning. Be very careful. Careful what you, um, sending an email, careful for what you're putting in writing. Even the most benign statements, the most benevolent meaning statements, can come across as mean-spirited and wrong and angry and everything else. And just a, just a quick warning today, okay?